Hi Earth Signs, welcome to your weekly reading for December 23rd through the 29th. This is Mary and this is Leo Sunlight Insight. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching. So Earth Signs, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, we're going to take a look at love, life, and advice for you for the week ahead through the 23rd through the 29th. So welcome, welcome everybody. Hope everybody's doing well. And uh, Merry Christmas, Happy New Year. Can you believe we're almost at the end of the year? So let's see what's going on with the Earth Signs for the week ahead. 23rd through the 29th love life and advice let's see what's going on for you earth signs i hope everybody's doing well well okay so we have heal we have the star energy and let's see what's on the bottom of the deck and we have rebuild wow we got 16 17 so this is i believe the tower i think since so this deck is a little bit different, I'm just going to double check, but I do believe um, that is the tower. Yes. Wow, two major arcana. So healing a tower moment, are we, in our love life? That's what we're getting here. Healing a tower moment, whatever that means for you. Uh, we'll see. We're going to clarify with tarot um, after we pull these cards. So this is a quick little maybe 10, 12 minute reading just for the energies for the week. And this may be just messages that need to come out at this time. You know, this may not like unfurl this coming week. Maybe just messages that you need to hear at this time. Could be past, present, future energy. You know how tarot works. So take what resonates, throw away the rest. So let's see. Let's get life. What's going on in life for you earth signs at this time? Thank you so much volunteer so it could be anything that could be literally like really volunteering in the true sense of the word or that could be volunteering your time your energy your advice um or anything like that and on the bottom we have family changes so somebody something could be changing in a family dynamic uh could be it could be you know family can be anything it can be your uh work family it can be your uh immediate family your extended family um, your close, close friends. So something could be changing and maybe it may not be you. It could be somebody around you is also what I'm getting to. It could be somebody around you who's going through changes in their life. And maybe you need to volunteer to help them out, whether, uh, you know, helping them move or helping them pack or helping, uh, just like I said, giving advice, helping them do chores or run errands or, whatever here really uh helping them out shoulder to cry on even just someone to talk to so let's see let's get your advice for the week here art signs virgo taurus and capricorn it could be just a change in your life you could be having a new addition to a family in some way uh or something like that maybe you need to volunteer to help uh pitch in or something like that so let's see what's the advice for the earth signs in this coming week at this time self-love now is the time to love nurture and heal yourself self-love is not simply a state of mind about feeling good it's a state of appreciation for yourself that grows and matures from actions you take and to support your body mind and soul so some of you really need to um, or maybe you have been volunteering, helping out friends, family, co-workers that are like family. And maybe something needs to change in that dynamic. And maybe now your advice is to take care of yourself. Showing that self-love. Nurturing yourself. We have here, you are not alone. We are here for you. We never left. Through all the uh, sadness and loneliness, however, you cannot sense us near you or feel how much love we are sending you. We are your family, friends, and guides. You never walk alone. We walk right beside you. So just know for some of you, if you're feeling lonely, down, and out, if you're not feeling worthy, if you have low self-esteem, if you're not feeling that self-love kind of energy, uh, if you are feeling alone, that you do have um, that energy right there around you of passed over loved ones, uh, family, friends, ancestors, your uh, support team, your angels, your guides. They're always around you. All right, so let's clarify this energy. I do ask um, 
If you do like how I read, or if you're new, not familiar with my channel, you can check it out. If you like what you see, you can subscribe. I do a lot of different readings a month. And I started this new weekly energy reading for all the elements. So if you like what you see, please feel free to subscribe. You can check the description box below. Tons of stuff down there. Decks I'm using, social media, how to book a personal reading. Uh, tons and tons of stuff down there. Thank you to everybody who supported the channel. New subscribers, thank you and welcome. And I just had a card go flying. I couldn't do it without you guys. So all the support that you show me is truly, truly appreciated. All right, so I did have the Five of Wands fall out. So, and I put it back, but then I realized we got the tower there. So there could have been some conflict, fighting, not seeing eye to eye kind of energy in a relationship. This is about love here. So some sort of relationship here where conflict, arguments, petty kind of energy, but we do have heal there. So I feel like uh, this can be healed. Let's see. Yeah, so coming together with the Three of Pentacles energy, working it out, working together, teamwork, collaboration. Again, with the Eight of Three and Eight of Pentacles. Again, with uh, working hard at it, working hard at it, and needing to make that decision with the Two of Swords energy to put in the dedicated effort to work this out and get over the conflict, over this tower moment, and heal and mend it kind of energy, having that faith, hope, and optimism that this can be healed. This is a divinely guided energy telling you that this can be rebuilt. It can be healed. Hot chakras can be lit up again. And we have the Empress. So, yeah, knowing value and worth, a birth of new things. Um, it doesn't necessarily have to be new. It can be like a rebirth of a situation here, like starting fresh, starting new kind of energy. Um, very nurturing, caring, giving kind of energy, nurturing and healing this connection I'm getting, knowing its value and worth and really tending to that and making that conscious decision. Let's put in this dedicated ed for effort. Let's work together. Let's get over this conflict and heal whatever tower moment this was because you're going from 16 to 17, which is progression. So, all right. So let's see what this family changes and volunteer is. For you earth signs so we have the hierophant and we have the star <laughs> wow so all right let's get a few more here the hermit wow we got three major arcana right here hierophant star and the hermit in the world oh my god this is a big message for somebody here let me get one more one more so we could piece this all together. And the Nine of Swords. Okay. So we got the world energy here, which is about cycles ending, new cycles, you know, beginning, growth, expansion, could be travel. We have the Hierophant here, which can be about commitment. It can be about, um, you know, faith, spirituality, doing what's moral, just, and right. Stars, that healing energy, faith, hope, optimism. Uh, wishes and dreams coming true. That's another thing over here too. Wishes and dreams coming true too. So the hermit. So the hermit kind of goes within, reflects, does that inner journey, soul work, finds their path, their way, their light. And there's a light right there with the star energy. But then we have stress, fear, and anxiety over here. I feel like somebody, I don't feel it's you. I feel like somebody around you may just have gone through something. Now uh, they may be, the hermit goes alone. They're kind of a loner. Um, they may be trying to heal. Maybe they just lost somebody in their life or um, something like that. They were very committed to this person. Um, or this is just a spiritual card saying maybe this person has passed over. And they're really trying to heal. I feel like the person is in heaven. You know, they're in a good place. They're trying, but this person's trying to heal from this loss. They've been spending a lot of time alone. They're trying to get over this, start a new cycle, new chapter in their life, but they just can't seem to get past it. And it's been a big change for them. 
this could be a big message for somebody and I feel like maybe you need to step in and try to help them out try to encourage them try to uh, lift them up try to give them advice support guidance a helping hand to try to get them like back into life again um, maybe it's been ongoing here for quite a while you know like maybe five like five to ten years they've been kind of in this energy and they're, they're like stuck is what I'm getting um, and I think they, they really need help to come out of this energy so you may be the person to help them do that <laughs> okay so if not if that's not a message for somebody then um, that's the biggest message I'm getting but somebody something here somebody is stressed over a family change in a family dynamic uh, you know with the world here um, so let's see so over here we have self-love you are not alone we got the seven of cups feeling confused but then we have nine of cups fulfillment and wish fulfillment happiness and joy in every single way the lovers that and that doesn't necessarily have to be a lover lover it can be Again, self-love, loving yourself, making that conscious decision to start nurturing, caring, and giving and loving yourself. Ten of Cups, to happiness, joy, fulfillment in every single way, and wish fulfillment. And the Nine of Pentacles, being stable, secure, and grounded on your own. Nurturing yourself, that is the Nine of Pentacles energy. So this is the biggest uh, message coming in for you, our Earth Signs, is to make the conscious effort and choice to nurture and care for yourself and know you have support around you from other people from the spiritual world as well as people around you and nurturing caring for yourself and making that conscious decision to do so lovers is about decision um you'll be much more happier content stable secure grounded nurturing caring and giving yourself earth signs and over here um, somebody's healing from something they're spending a lot of time alone uh, could have been something they were very committed to and there's been a big change and they're trying to start a new chapter but they're having a hard time and they're very stressed here so I mean however that resonates for you if it if it's not about a past over loved one it could be anything here but I feel like this this situation needs help and you may have to be the one to step in and kind of volunteer your energy to help this out earth signs okay wow so best of luck to you earth signs and i hope to see you next week and sending you many light love and blessings and as i always say with my channel is to always always shine your light